Hey there guys, uh, I'm Guido and uh, I'm working on Shaga and Shaga started as a hackathon project. Basically what it's uh, all about is uh, um, decentralized game streaming, like peer-to-peer -peer game streaming. Um, the computation is not decentralized, like the network is decentralized, like the computation is centralized, like it's one node uh, one or multiple clients and uh, this is what we will try to do now uh, so I started a Shaga node and uh, I will start uh, the Shaga app still a bit messy but uh, I don't remember that uh, okay So yeah, like the, the first thing that um, we figured out was if we go from the beginning into making a network where like any random guy can rent a PC from someone else, like that might not work because of like uh, server security issues and trust assumptions. So the first thing that we thought about was what if we do something uh, that's similar to like Steam remote play together? Um, so like basically this front end here uh, enables you to like uh, create a lobby and um, you can invite friends and I'll try to join from my phone. Uh, so I got the controller. Uh, and thankfully we're not uh, screen sharing the phone as well. So I hope that it's not going to do the update of the game. <laughs> on your mobile hotspot. <laughs> uh, I should have updated it uh, uh, yesterday, so it should be good, but so it's still uh, pretty rough. Uh, but on the phone, uh, it's never gonna be, uh, can, can you, is it possible to see it? Uh, yeah, uh, kinda. But yeah, it, it's, um, it's a screen where I can like, find the lobby and like connect to it. When you join a lobby, it will prompt you to like rotate the device because I mean, you're playing landscape mode. And it should be connecting uh, to the node, to the host, and uh, it's gonna, uh, yeah, there is uh, on-screen controls as well. Uh, and I can like, use the like gamepad? oh yeah really great oh Vanna white this is it how it's looking yeah so yeah uh, what is going on is that uh the the node, the, the PC, is like uh, calculating with the GPU like the pixels to be displayed and it's encoding those pixels and it's sending them, shipping them over the network and here they are decoded. So it's pretty simple uh, and it doesn't break the compatibility with like anything uh, that like a gaming PC might use. like. Uh, storage synchronization or anything else. It's just like taking the graphics and shipping them over and uh, it's fed, uh, sending the controls from that to here. So currently like this is connected with Bluetooth to here and this is connected to like the internet to here. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, 
we could try to play, but uh, I, I, wait a second. Okay, yeah. Of course, there's a bug. Like, oh yeah, there's two it's players. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Just play one. <laughs> you can get into a game. Um, Yeah, uh, the demo was supposed to be with um, two uh, two clients, uh, but uh, we yesterday encountered issues uh, with the mobile hotspot. Um, so yeah, I mean, don't need to play the match entirely. Like it's uh, wait, you don't want them to watch you play? <laughs> I mean, I could like. Uh, Is there anyone that wants like? Want to play? Yeah, this was um, a bit of a taste, like of like what this should be. Um, okay. Uh, so now we jump into like the actual uh, presentation. So, Shaga is short for shared gaming. So now you know the trick behind the name. Um, it started as a, as I said, like uh, as a hackathon project uh, for Solana, <laughs> uh, and yeah, this is how we met uh, B5. So initially, uh, the product of the demo uh, didn't have uh, like fully uh, hole punching. Uh, so when people were trying to like run nodes, they would all like come in the Discord and say like. Hey, like, uh, how do I do port forwarding? Like, oh, can you help me do it? Like, are you hacking my router? Like, is this illegal? So, you know, like, uh, all of the issues that uh, were blocking, like, people from uh, starting to uh, join the network. Um, and this is what Shaga is now. So, uh, if I was able to share my phone, like, that is the app, app UI. So, um, when we were thinking about, like, when you have these networks and you have like supply on one side and demand on the other, like uh, there's always the cold start issue of like uh, how do I get to a point where like if I want to play a game, like I find a node nearby because most of the nodes are online. And um, one of the tricks that we thought about was what if we leverage the relationship between the supply and the demand? So uh, if you are a PC owner and you have friends that don't have a PC, Initially, that could be the thing that kickstarts like the network. So, like, you invite friends over, and it, like, you use Shaga as some kind of like remote LAN party. So, uh, in better network conditions, like uh, the PC would be wired through Ethernet, and uh, like you could have friends that live like other places of the town or like in the province or region. And you can have a LAN party without like uh, everyone coming to one place, um, and and it's pretty fun. Um, so this is a bit more like uh, what is the future of like uh, Shaga and like network uh, nodes, like people that join that. Um, so this is a bit more like not for this kind of audience, but th this is to say that like. Cloud gaming is something that is big in market, and like, um, why should you leave like uh, the money or like the the opportunity to data centers when if you have a, a PC and you like uh, connect it to the node and you start to become like the the one that is serving the content, then you could like uh, generate uh, that revenue instead of like these centralized uh, corporations. So it's very cool because um, when people buy their PCs, like they have needed to spend between like 1,000 and 4,000, like depending on like uh, how it goes. And uh, you, then you need to maintain and update uh, that device. So this is the reason why like uh, a lot of people started using something like Xbox Cloud because uh, like you can play anywhere and you have low cost access with the library, like you get uh, most of the games in there. But the issue is, of course, like you don't have ownership over these games. Like uh, even with Steam, like there's uh, stories of people that uh, bought a game and then Steam removed it from the library and then uh, there is no more game for you. Like, thanks for the money though. Uh, 
Um, and of course, like the low, low, low latency is in there. Like uh, if you look at some reviews, like people are always saying like, oh, Xbox Cloud sucks. Like I try it, but uh, like the latency is too high and like it's, it's not worth it. So neither buying your own PC, like if everyone in the world bought their own personal computer, like uh, it wouldn't be sustainable. Uh, and of course, like cloud gaming from data centers don't work as well. Um, so DPN is this term that has been used like uh, recently, but it stands for like decentralized physical infrastructure. Um, so we believe that uh, Shaga is uh, the DPN to solve latency through proximity. So if you don't own a PC, then you are on the demand side and you can play any game anytime, anywhere. Like that's supposed to be the goal. And if you own a PC, then you can make a uh, passive income, like earning some money and like possibly uh, recovering the investment on the PC after some time. Um, so we have been working with some uh, uh, UX designers from uh, Xbox. Uh, the guy worked from uh, Xbox Kinect and uh, Xbox Live. So um, pretty cool. Uh, and we have like some initial uh, partners or like web three games that are interested in this because um really there was nothing uh probably because web three gaming has suffered from like uh, a bad stigma uh i mean sometimes justified um but the the thing is that shaga for these games like it allows them to have more audience because you don't need to have a powerful pc to like enjoy and participate in these games um, so this is like uh, the team at Shaga um, so there is me there is Deshaun we are the crypto native uh, guys then we have Umar and Aaron and Alan um, Umar was a lead for strategy and innovation at Alienware uh, for 17 years uh, he started there when it was a garage and it worked uh, his way up and Aaron was a uh, ex out of cloud of uh, Epic Games, uh, and Alan was uh, design at uh, Xbox. Um, so now, like, I would jump into some uh, videos. So uh, let's start from these. Uh, so this is um, Aaron uh, with a node at his house and. Uh, um, a tablet like an iPad uh, at the house of uh, his son and they live like uh, 10 miles apart so this is like some simulation of what it would look like in a in a city um, and Aaron is playing like uh, Rocket League on Fortnite and uh, they are yeah uh, he's experiencing like between 20 to 23 milliseconds of latency um, so it, it makes it uh, pretty awesome when you compare it to like the data centers uh, competition or like alternatives. Um, the really cool thing is that uh, Mark Long from uh, Shrapnel, uh, he used to work at uh, Xbox um, with Phil Spencer on the initial version of Xbox Cloud. And he's, he said that when we showed this that uh, um, they were struggling to see anything below 30 milliseconds with uh, Azure. So, like, uh, if game streaming slash cloud gaming is going to happen, it's likely that it's going to happen in a decentralized, uh, distributed fashion. Um, so, we have another demo here, which is another use case. So, this is um, two players, uh, two clients, and one node. Uh, and yeah, it's not uh, that other content. Um, but anyway, here we have uh, one node in San Francisco and uh, one client in Phoenix, uh, Arizona. So I don't know miles or kilometers, but it's pretty far. And uh, the latency is around like 45 to 50 milliseconds. Um, so it's really interesting. Uh, because when you play like fighter games online, like usually you need to like connect to a server and then the server like sequences like uh, the 
moves from like players but here like if you have uh, one gaming pc that is running the game then like technically that becomes the server um so the client that is connected uh, has a, a bit of a disadvantage because like he is suffering from like the high latency the other client like if he's directly in front of the pc like he's going to have a uh, some milliseconds of advantage but uh, when the players are like two or four like it's not really a lot of players um the node or the pc can become like the the sequencer of the action in the in the game um so we have this uh, we registered this yesterday so uh, because we knew that the network was not uh, super great uh so what we have here is um, my PC connected to uh, a GCP node in, uh, in, in the area, and uh, it's running a, a super tax cart, which is like, uh, yeah, kind of like Rocket League for Linux. Uh, but what we are having here is um, a couple of clients, like my, my phone and uh, Diraj ones. And uh, yeah, let me... Okay, yeah. So uh, this is an example of like uh, two clients on one node. Um, so I have the gamepad and uh, Diraj is using the on-screen controls. Um, and yeah, it, crazy that uh, uh, we were able to get like not bad performances from a GCP node, but uh, hard to get it here. Um, so anyway, like, um, this is, uh, yeah, there is a, a bit of lag, but uh, the overall experience is, uh, like, there is uh, some uh, screen that is, uh, like, duplicated, uh, and it's the same screen for both clients. Uh, this is uh, great for, like, games like uh, FIFA, where, like, there is only one screen and all the people are, are there. Um, for games like uh, Call of Duty or others where there is like a, a split screen, um, we're working on like selectively shipping like portions of the screen uh, to the respective client. So like uh, on your client, you wouldn't see the four split screen, but you would see only your portion of it. Uh, and yeah, finally, like this is the last one. So yeah, there's a guy that you might know in the video. <laughs> um, so this was the testing like uh, some time ago. Uh, it was this was probably like uh, towards mid uh, May. So yeah, we're playing Fortnite here, and uh, yeah, this is uh, probably should have started from this because this was the easiest test. It was a local network uh, with uh, uh, great conditions, uh, a bit not like here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like, uh, this is, uh, pretty much, uh, what we do and like, uh, if you should be excited or not about Shaga, like, uh, you tell me, but, uh, yeah, I'm done. And if you have any questions or thoughts, like I can, uh, jump into that.